And good morning, everyone. 631 on the East Coast. We're coming on the air right now because Hurricane Maria has made landfall on Puerto Rico. And this is the scene in Puerto Rico right now. A powerful Category 4 storm. Maria is hitting with 155 mile an hour winds, torrential rain, the strongest storm this island has faced in nearly a century. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez is live for us in San Juan right now. Gabe, good morning. Savannah, good morning. The situation here is dire. We've been pounded by ferocious winds for the last several hours, and it is only getting worse. Hurricane force winds now are slamming into San Juan. Authorities say this could be a potentially catastrophic situation. We have sought shelter inside a concrete structure, but others on this island will not be so fortunate. Authorities for days have been practically begging people in wooden structures and flood-prone areas to evacuate. They've opened 500 shelters, and more than 10,000 people uh, this morning are in shelters. As you can see behind me, it is blinding conditions here. We've seen debris peeled off buildings already. The, it is, most roads are impassable. It is simply, it, it is difficult uh, to be outside, and we are taking very, being very careful uh, as to how we're bringing you these live images. But Savannah and Matt, Authorities here fear this could be potentially devastating for this region. The strongest storm to hit Puerto Rico in nearly a century. Irma just grazed this island, but there. Irma just grazed this island, but more than 60,000 people were left without power, and now with a weak power grid, there's no telling what type of devastation Maria could bring. Back to you. Uh, Gabe, okay. thank you very much. Uh, we should mention he said all those shelters have been open. Now there are questions. Can those shelters withstand winds of 150, 160 miles an hour? NBC's Tammy Leitner also in San Juan this morning. Tammy, what's the scene where you are? Hey, Matt and Savannah, I can tell you that where we are on the island, the conditions have deteriorated very quickly. We've actually had to move several times because of debris that's falling down. There are several huge trees that have gone down just about 20 yards behind me. There are about 10,000 people that have taken refuge in shelters. But I can tell you we've spoken with a lot of people on this island in the last few days that have said they are going to hunker down and wait this storm out in their homes. We've also spoken with tourists who are trapped here on the island. I can tell you where we are. FEMA has set up their headquarters, and they have about 300 first responders that are ready to head out as soon as the storm passes by and make rescues. Back to you guys. All right, Tammy, thank you so much. And let's turn to Al. I mean, this is a very dire situation. This is what we feared the most, and it is coming to fruition, unfortunately. Right now, as you heard, 155 mile per hour winds, but we've had gusts of up to 190 miles per hour, and it is moving northwest at 10 miles per hour. So here's what we look for as far as the impacts. The winds are going to be devastating. We're talking about gusts up to 150 or more. Hurricane force winds throughout the afternoon. The storm surge, where we get most of the deaths and damage, six to nine feet from San Juan all the way through the southern uh, tip of the island, and the flooding. We're talking about river and highway flooding, mudslides, uh, totals of 20 to 25 inches before this is all over. And it continues after devastates Puerto Rico. It's at the Dominican Republic tomorrow with 75 mile per hour winds, a four to six foot storm surge, four to eight inches or more of rain and then on into the Turks and Caicos on Friday. Winds 100 to 125 miles per hour. A storm surge of up to 15 feet. That could be ultimately devastating for these islands. Four to eight inches of rain and then continues out into the Atlantic. Guys, we'll take a look at this a little bit later uh, because now we're, we still have to watch this track as far as the southeastern United States is concerned. All right, Al. Thank you very much. By the way, there's another natural disaster unfolding right now. It's happening in Mexico. The death toll from the powerful earthquake there, soaring to more than 200 people overnight. Countless others said to be trapped in the rubble. Frantic efforts underway to free them. NBC's Miguel Almaguer is in Mexico City. Miguel, good morning to you. Matt, good morning. A scene of devastation all across this country. I want to show you what's unfolding over my shoulder here. This is actually the scene playing out in city after city across this region. Search and rescue teams have arrived at an employment center where dozens of people have been pulled out of the rubble alive and where search and rescue teams at this hour are looking for approximately 
30 to 40 more people that are still buried underneath all of this rubble. It's an active scene here. Over my other shoulder, there is family members here waiting for any news of anyone that may still be inside and trapped inside. The death toll here rising to about 200, and they were told that the situation here is still very fluid, not just on this one city block, but all across Mexico City. Matt. All right, Miguel, thanks. A lot of news this morning. Unfortunately, not a lot of it good. No, so we'll be following what's happening in Mexico City in terms of the recovery efforts and also what's happening as we speak with Hurricane Maria hitting Puerto Rico. We'll see you in just a few moments on today. I'm Savannah Guthrie alongside Matt Lauer and Al Roker and our correspondents in the field. This has been an NBC News special report. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.